Welcome to this week's reflection on Brian McLaren's book, We Make the Road by Walking. I'm sharing from chapter 17a, The Light Has Come. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life. And the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. From the Gospel of John, chapter 1, verses 1 through 5. On Christmas Eve, we celebrate a new beginning. We welcome the dawning of a new light. A new day begins with sunrise. A new year begins with lengthening days. And a new life begins with infant eyes taking in their first view of a world bathed in light. And just as a new era in human history began when God's light came shining into our world through Jesus, his birth signals the start of a new day, a new way, and a new understanding of what it means to be alive. Despite all that has happened this past year, the year of 2020, we have the choice still to welcome the light. We can receive it as a gift And in that receiving, we let God's holy, radiant aliveness stream into our lives. We can become portals of light in our world, truly living as members of God's family, which means we're related to all of God's creation. This relatedness is the essence of enlightenment and being alive. Aliveness in Jesus is a gift available to all by God's grace. It flows not from taking, but giving, not from conflict, but from reconciliation, not from fear, but from faith, and not from domination, but from service. This new light and aliveness and love opens us up to rethink everything, to go back and become like little children again. We can rediscover the world with a fresh, childlike, wonder seeing the world in a new light, the light of Christ. In the story that we know so well, we can recall on that dark night in such a humble place and fleshed in a tiny, vulnerable, homeless, helpless baby, God's light began to glow. Kneeling at the manger, we can gaze upon that little baby who is radiant with so much promise for our world today. So let us be a light, and let us light a candle for the Christ child, for the infant Jesus, the Word made flesh. Let our hearts grow with that light that was in him, so that we become candles through which his light shines still. For Christmas is a process as well as an event. Our hearts can become the little town, the stable, the manger, Even now, let a new day, a new creation, a new you, a new me, begin. And let there be light. Join us this Sunday, if you can, at 10 o'clock for a reflection on the light, followed by a special class entitled Christmas, One Holiday, Two Stories, led by St. Matthew's member Dan Weiss. We'll be meeting on Zoom again at 10 o'clock. And Dan writes about this class. Most of us have been taught a single Christmas story, one that includes donkeys, mangers, angels, and wise men. But the Bible tells two very different and sometimes conflicting stories of the birth of Jesus. In our time together on Sunday, we will explore each account and the significant religious and political points that they make about Jesus. Until then, be the light. See you on Sunday.